Hi, the TCAN 4550Q1 provides CANFD functionality with a single chip spy to CANFD controller and transceiver. With a rich protection feature set, including watchdog, undervoltage lockout, and thermal shutdown, the TCAN 4550Q1 provides fail-safe features to limit the node's power dissipation when there is a node system issue. There are three fail-safe features built into the TCAN 4550Q1 to limit excess power consumption during node system issues. Each of these mechanisms allow for the device to enter a low power state. Each fail-safe feature utilizes the sleep-wake error timer to identify a processor to transceiver communication issue. Let's briefly examine the three features. First, with the fail-safe features enabled, the processor has four minutes to establish communication and configure the TCAN 4550Q1. If this configuration does not complete in the time allotted, the device will enter sleep mode. The device can wake via CAN bus wake up or wake up pattern or local wake event via the wake pin. Upon wake, the device enters standby mode. At this point, both the T silent and T inactive timers will start. If the device is not enabled before the T inactive timer expires, it will re-enter sleep mode. Secondly, upon receipt of interrupt or wake event during sleep mode, the device will enter standby mode. During this time, the processor again has four minutes to re-establish communication, clear the flags, and enter normal mode. Otherwise, the device will re-enter sleep mode. Finally, if the TCAM 4550Q1 CAN silent flag is set high for TN active, the device will also enter sleep mode. These fail-safe features can be enabled by writing a 1 to the fail-safe enable register. For more information regarding the TCAN 4550Q1 and fail-safe modes, visit the link below. Thank you for watching.